Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Subscribe, like, and share. Who were the Canaanites of ancient Palestine? That is the question. And this article is from the University of California, Berkeley. Berkeley is a research university. Foundations of Anthropology at the University of California. A new ancestor of man, Paleoanthropus of Palestine, or ancient man of Palestine, or of the land of Canaan, representing a distinctive people unlike any other race of prehistoric men. A. Reconstructed Drawing The recent discovery of a series of Stone Age deposits so far unparalleled in the Near East, in the Valley of the Caves at the foot of Mount Carmel, is described on page 36 of this number by Miss Dorothy Garrod, director of the Joint Expeditions of the British School of Archaeology in Jerusalem and the American School of Prehistoric Research. On two other pages will be found an article by Sir Arthur Keith explaining the high importance of these discoveries, which comprises eight skeletons, four of them practically complete. Both the articles mentioned are accompanied by illustrations, and in the above drawing, done under Sir Arthur Keith's supervisions, our artist has delineated the probable appearance in life of a man belonged to this newly found type of humanity, known as Paleoanthropus Palestinius, or Paleoanthropus of Palestine, or ancient man of Palestine. Sir Arthur Keith, who suggests this name, describes the skeletons as representing a distinctive people, unlike any other race of prehistoric men. Regarding one specimen, a man about 5 feet 10 inches in stature, nicknamed Arthur by his discoverers, we are told that this face and jaws are fashioned not like those of European Neanderthal man, but rather as in some modern races with massive Prognathius Jaws. Author, we read, has the great penthouse supra oral to ridges or brow ridges of the Neanderthals. But he differs altogether in the height of his head and the modeling of the hinder part. He serves to bridge the gap between the European Neanderthals and more primitive form of modern man. Dorothy Garrod, Dorothy Annie Elizabeth Garrod, born on the 5th of May, 1892, and died December 18, 1968, was an English archaeologist who specialized in 
Paleolithic period. She held the position of Disney Professor of Archaeology at the University of Cambridge from 1939 to 1952 and was the first woman to hold a chair at either Oxford or Cambridge. In the brief statement made by Miss Dorothy Garrod on page 36, there are certain omissions. There is no explicit mention of the part she has played in the discovery now announced from Mount Carmel. One of the most extensive and most important finds ever made of the remains of Fossil Man. Mr. McCown who is excavating the cave of the kids, has told me that his good fortune, and no one ever earned the smile of fortune more than he, was planned for him by Miss Garrod, the excavation of the Mukharat S. Skahul was part of a systematic search launched by Miss Garrod along the western flanks of Mount Carmel in the hope of discovering the earliest Palestinians. These early Palestinians, it was suspected, would prove to be the counterparts of the Neanderthalians of Europe. That strange race of humanity which became extinct long before the end of the last ice age. As everyone knows, the culture of the Neanderthalians is known as Mysterian. Miss Garad has struck rich veins of the Mosterian culture in the caves of Mount Carmel and have found stray fragments of the Palestinians who practice this culture. Now it has fallen to Mr. Macau to uncover one of their cemeteries, a cemetery 20,000 years old and more. The cavernous mausoleum in which Peking man and his contemporaries were found is much older but less extensive than this cemetery on a ledge of Mount Carmel. Indeed, this Carmelite cemetery is the most extensive mid-Pleistocene graveyard that has been discovered so far. So, the anthropologist like Miss Dorothy Garad found a cemetery graveyard of Homo Neanderthalensis, or Neanderthal man, which is considered an extinct species of man. Mount Carmel man, Homo Neanderthalensis of Mount Carmel, was also compared to Neanderthals of Europe and Peking man and China, all classified as extinct men. Using the history of the Bible, the Tanakh, the Torah, and science, we can prove that these Homo Neanderthalensis men were Negroid asteroid people. They were the sons of Japhet, Shem, and Ham, and they were misclassified as extinct species of men. Why was it suspected that the folk who practiced the Mosterian culture in Palestine would prove to be of the same race as of the Andalians of Europe? It was because of a discovery made in 1925 in that year, Professor John Garstang was directing explorations carried out by the British School of Archaeology 
in Jerusalem, a society maintained by voluntary contributions and chiefly concerned in the excavation of biblical sites. In 1925, a young Oxford graduate, Mr. Turville Petrie, joined Professor Gosting and in a cave on the west side of Lake Galilee had the fortune to strike a rich Mosterian stratum in which was preserved part of a fossil human skull. Only the forehead with two adjoining bones were found. These were committed to me for examination and report. Although the three bones thus found possessed certain peculiar features, yet as they were stamped by definite Neanderthal traits, I inferred that as the front of the head was mainly Neanderthal, the hinder part of the head, when found, would prove also to be so. So I drew the conclusion that the ancient Galilean people would prove to be a branch of the extinct Neanderthal species. Mosterian culture is a culture that uses Stone Age technology. And the Neanderthal men found in Galilee were classified as Negroid Astroloid people. And using science and expert opinions, we will find out that these people are not extinct. The British School of Archaeology, Kenyon Institute. The Kenyon Institute, previously known as the British School of Archaeology at Jerusalem, BSAJ, is a British overseas research institute supporting humanities and social science studies in Israel and Palestine. It is part of the Council for British Research in the Levant and is sponsored by the British Academy. The Institute was established in 1919 as the British School of Archaeology in Jerusalem, BSAJ, the London-based Palestine Exploration Fund was instrumental in its foundation. Natufian burial, Homo or Man 25, from Awad Cave, Mount Carmel, Israel, on display at the Rockefeller Museum. The first suspicion that I had been misled arose during last winter when Mr. McCown and I was examining the skeleton of a Carmelite child. As Miss Garrod has explained, Mr. McCown, when exploring in 1931 the Mysterian stratum of the Cave of the Kids, which this year he has proved to have been a cemetery, exposed part of a child's skeleton. The block of brachia or rock in which the skeleton was entombed was cut out and brought to the Royal College of Surgeons Museum in London. In three months, Mr. Ernest Smith had cut away the rock and exposed the skeleton of the child so that Mr. McCown and I were free to study it. The child had been buried in a kneeling position 
To our surprise, we found that the hinder part of the head was totally different from that of all European Neanderthalians. The skeleton of the child was also different, being akin to that of Australian Aborigines. The skeleton of the child were basically the same type as a Australian Aborigine. Is because these people, Neanderthals in Europe, or so-called Neanderthals in the Middle East, were classified scientifically as Negroid Astroloid race. Astroloid meaning Australian Aborigines. And these people, so-called Neanderthals in Europe and in the Middle East, were the grandchildren of Noah, the people of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. But they were being classified as extinct men, Neanderthals. But they were the children of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. And these people sent out colonies that colonized the rest of the world later. And this is an image of Mount Carmel in the caves where were discovered the skeletons of ancient people of Palestine or the land of Canaan. Caves Creek, Hageti, also known as Skull, Nahal, also known as El Wad, Gamal, also known as El Jamal, Tamer, also known as Tabun, Tabun Cave. This is Mount Carmel. Tabun Cave, before it was excavated in 1929. How different the hinder view of this child's head was from that of Neanderthal child will be seen from Fig 3 and 4, in which the occipital view of the common like child's skull, age two and a half years of age, is compared with that of Neanderthal child, age nine years, from Laquina, France. The common like child lay in a cave deposit of the same Mosterian culture as the Galilee individual. The common like rock shelter is less than 40 miles distant from the Galilean cave. The common like child and the Galilean woman should be of the same race. Even today, it is very difficult to anticipate what the features of a child of two and a half years will be when it has attained maturity. It is still more difficult to forecast the adult form of a child of an unknown prehistoric race. To settle the problem which Mr. McCown and I have to solve, an adult stage of the common like child had to be found. The so-called prehistoric race of Europe in Galilee and Mount Carmel are classified as Negroid Asteroid in race.